Hi, it's Chris Betcher here. I'd like to welcome you to this video, which is my contribution to the Adobe Train the Trainer course. And we're in week six, and this is my session for uh, my first draft of putting together part of a longer training session. And this training session I'm developing is called Developing Visual Literacy for Print Media. And in this session, uh, it's aimed at sort of beginner and intermediate computer users, and I'm imagining they could use this in sort of uh, upper primary, lower high school grades. And the uh, purpose of this course is to help teachers understand the kinds of principles that graphic designers use when they're putting together print media. So in other words, we'll be looking at magazine pages, pulling them apart, trying to understand why they're structured the way they are, and then reconstructing those pages in Adobe InDesign um, and learning some of the skills that, uh, that uh, designers use when they're putting together print media. So I just want to take you through a couple of simple examples and, and, and just um, highlight to you some of the design principles that designers use. The ones I want to concentrate on are emphasis, balance, repetition, color, and proportion. So I'd like to just give you a couple of simple examples and you can see them coming up behind me here. So this first one is just a more or less a random page out of a magazine. And you can see it's fairly typical. It has an image and it has some text, which is what you'd expect to find on most magazine pages. I just want to point out a couple of things. First of all, the use of color. That image at the top there is this bright pop of blue with the white streaks going through it. You've got the white down the bottom of the page, so the white actually carries across from top to bottom. And that little pop of red there with the boat. So they're using color really effectively in the image. The images is quite big, so it's uh, that we'd be looking at a, a principle there called emphasis, where we're really drawing the attention of the viewer to the page because of this one single large image there. And then the, down the bottom of the page, you've got those two columns. And you may notice the columns are the same width. So you've got this idea of balance. And if you look at that page, like there's a center line where you can see that uh, the gap between the two columns of text down the bottom, the columns are the same width, you've got the picture at the top. And so that page is really nicely balanced. Now, I want to compare that to this other example here. So this, again, fairly typical. Now, here, the, uh, the designer of this page is using a principle called repetition. And you can see the image in this case is actually broken up into quad, uh, quarters, and each quarter contains a different image. So it's still one big graphic uh, object on the page, but it's split into multiple images. And they're the same size. So you've got this idea of balance because they're the same size, repetition because it's repeated over and over in that grid pattern. Um, and uh, the other thing I want to draw your attention to here is, is the left side of the page where it has the captions down the side and the two columns of text down the bottom which are actually not the same width. So the designer in this case is actually deliberately sort of flaunting the balance rule in order to make the page more interesting. And they're using one wide column and one narrower column. Now I think the principle of balance actually works really well here because even though that column on the right is actually narrower than the, than the one next to it, it's kind of balanced out by the columns of text over on the left hand side. So you can see how that, those principles there of design and balance and uh, the repetition of the grid is actually being used. Speaking of repetition, here's another example of a page. And um, the use of those little thumbnail images, which are all the same size. So there's the consistency of the size there, um, but there's also the repetition and it draws the eye down. Um, the uh, use of emphasis there with the red circle where they're drawing your attention to the actual key point of this page, which is about the in-flight entertainment system. Uh, and, and so you can see the way designers here have used different principles. I've tried to keep it neat. There's three columns of these images, um, but the images are all the same size. And I want to alert you to also, if you look at the text there, you can see that the text next to each of those images actually has kind of a bold heading then there's a capitalized uh, line of text underneath it, which sort of explains which category it's in. And then there's some smaller text, which is the description of that, that item. And that's a consistent thing. And the consistency is also kind of a principle here of design where you, you know, that, that idea of repetition, but consistent repetition. And the final example I want to look to here is clearly this is all about emphasis. This is a title page, obviously. And, um, it's got one huge image and a large piece of text and then a smaller piece of text there to give you a little insight into what the article might be about. But there's a sense of balance going on here too that I don't know whether you've noticed and that is this is a right-facing page. 
you can actually see a little bit on the side there where it's been torn out of the magazine. But this page, if you were to open the spread of the magazine, is on the right hand side. And so the text, which we normally read in, in the English language, we read from left to right, but you can see that the way the text has been aligned there, where it says heads for the head for the hills, has been aligned to the right. And so the idea is if this page is on the right, it would make no sense for the text to be aligned to the left. So aligning the text to the right on a right facing page also gives the page that sense of balance where the, it, the text looks like it belongs there because it's aligned to the correct side. So that's just a couple of little principles of design. In my subsequent lessons as we develop this course, we will of course spend way more time uh, digging into these magazines, pulling them apart, but mostly recreating this in Adobe InDesign.